I'm just doing a follow-up video here. I just want to show you. Oh, look at this little friend. Come to see me. Can you see it? Oh, there it is. Doing a follow-up video. I'm t I took that cage out of the, or the package out of the bees. You can tell that Queen isn't out yet because you see they're all over her right there trying to get her out. So we're just going to let this here for a bit. I'm just going to let this upper one on just for today. And uh, I'll come back tomorrow and take that off. But beautiful day here in New Hampshire. The bees are really flying. Um, I'm going to do the war right next. So if I, I might not film that. That one's harder to film. So uh, we'll come back tomorrow and see if this queen's out. All right, I just an update. The war I hive today. here was the queen. And it looks like she's out. They got the queen out. I guess it would help if I show you. The worry hive queen is out of there. So um, remember this is what I, I guess I didn't show you, but I really dug at this one to get her out. Um, so that's just a worker that's just in there. A worker's in there just looking around for the queen. So she's out and about. So I'm just gonna tighten this one up, which is great. I turned this back around. Remember yesterday I said I had it screwed up. I turned this back around. These bees are doing great in the worry hive. They ate every ounce of their food. So I'm gonna just fill up their food and um, seal them back up for the day. This girl won't come out. That's just a worker. That's living in New England. They're spreading poop. I can smell it over in the field. Okay. Look at these girls, happy as can be. I love this worry hive. Now I just can seal it up and leave it alone. Tons of bees, holy gee manitis. Tons of them. Over here, I just have some stuff thrown to the side. You can see, this is a bunch of old honey um, from the frames um, that I'm putting in there, let the bees pick off of. And I just left their cage right there because I took the cage out of this big one. Left the cage right there so they can, um, any of the other stragglers down in here will get back in. So that's it. That's it from the bee yard today. I'll uh, give you an update tomorrow. All right, just at the worry hive. And I can't believe how much pollen these bees are bringing in. Actually, there's a bee right there with pollen on her legs. Look at that. Look at out here, there's absolutely nothing in New Hampshire. I have to look that up. Maybe my friend Janice, I'll email her. She'll know where they're getting pollen from. She's like the go-to person. I don't know if you can notice here, one interesting thing about bees, there's poop all over the, the Langstroth coming out here they don't poop in their package they'll they go outside to poop so all this poop is them holding it in that whole time they were in the package so they got to come out and poop and you can see there's poop everywhere let's see if we can find look at them all coming in with all that pollen let's see if we can catch some there's one I like this I like this entry you know I did one thing I had to do is take the mouse guard off I don't think I have to worry about mice coming in with all these bees in here. Um, but I am going to get an entrance reducer and put on it because I don't want that big of an entrance on there. So I'll get an entrance reducer. I might regret the decision about the mouse guard, but I got really paranoid because I had mice get in this year. Look at all the pollen on that girl. Oh my goodness. So two windows I have. Sue built this one. Amazing. Let's just get out of the fly. An amazing... I love her window so much better than this window, but oops, you can see they're in there. I had some comb that was already in there and they are already going to town, cleaning out that comb, seeing what they want to do with that comb and building, hopefully building their new, building their own. So we'll keep an eye on this window here for the next couple of weeks and see what they do. The worry hive, remember, I'm not going in the worry hive. I'm just going to feed them. That's all I'm going to do is feed them and let them go to town and not go in there and bother them as long as they're. As long as I can see their building and hopefully the queen is good. I'll never find the queen, but as long as I can uh, have a good healthy hive, look, I'm going to be fine with that. I'm just going to let it go. So, all right, that's it for today. I'll give you a check in tomorrow. Oh, wait, let's look up over there. Got to get the two. These two hives are next. The Russians are coming this week. And then in two more weeks, I think it will get the rest of the rest of the packages. So. There's the community water, but nobody's going there yet. They haven't found it yet, so. But then again, like I live right by the river. I don't know if you can see it from here. 
It's like right in the, of those trees over here, the Connecticut River. You can kind of see it over here. All right, that's it for today. Have a good day.